Mr. Greenspan. Is Mr. Greenspan here? Okay. Um, next we have uh, WN2HHH. H, 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 bitch, bitch, bitch. Fucking criminal attorneys in Los Angeles. Fucking criminal enterprise and your Raymond Chan engineer bullshit. Why would you let this fucking Chinese motherfucker run our city to the ground like this? Is this what America was founded upon? Thieves? An organization of white collar crimes? What fucking morons, stupid, simplified fucking fits you are not to stand up and say, no, we're against you, Weezar. We're against you, Englander. We're against you, Ridley Thomas. We're against this fucking enterprise of criminal corruption. Are you not tired of paying this shit? Are you not satisfied that we have a criminal fucking enterprise in America? And I'll read it into the record. Lone Park inmate BOP 79518-112 for the record, Jose Luis Wezar incarcerated for 13 years of this fucking nonsense. Fix our fucking streets, put fucking lighting, and get all these fucking homeless criminals off our fucking streets so I can walk safely on a fucking sidewalk. Just the same way that fucking Scientology is paying you whiteners too, to let them and allow them to sit on the goddamn sidewalk and streets with their shit. Remove the barriers. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the sinkholes. I'm tired of the potholes. I'm tired of the failure of your mayor, Carrot Bass. Yes, Carrot Bass sucks a cock, and so does Sacramento, because you follow the same bullshit. Writing proposals that don't work, suck a tampon, go to hell, God hates you, Snyder versus Phelps. We'll begin our meeting with item number one. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt, President yes. Protem. We're going to go to the, we still have some general public comment on uh, the Zoom. Oh, call. I'm sorry. So, no problem. Yes, we'll take those yes. first before we get started, then head into approval of minutes and then go to the rest of the agenda items. Um, so going to go in order, continue our general public comment of our callers on the Zoom. I'm going to start with caller Mona M. You'll have two minutes for general public comment. Good morning. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. Hello, Board of Public Works. It's me again, Mona. Thank you for the opportunity to address you today. After review of your item number six from Wednesday, I would like to point out your complete bias and discriminatory practice. Wednesday, there was a discussion about an art permit for 313 East Grand Boulevard. They have been in a compliance review for several years and lots of money. This is for an exact same issues that I have been terrorizing you about for L. Ron Hubbard and Fountain Avenue since June without resolution. It also shows your question last week of Ms. Viegas to the city attorney what can our public commenters do to find a solution to their complaints? It was a pure lie since you already understood and knew exactly what we were complaining about and having a review already in process for another company. Your clear disregard for equal application of the law provides evidence for a civil grand jury investigation that I will be pursuing. Your disregard for municipal, state, and federal regulations is abhorrent but not shocking, since the relationship between the city of LA and Scientology is blatantly obvious. Whether you as a board are instructing the misappropriation or acting in a complicit manner, which also makes you culpable, either way, you are responsible and accountable. This disregard for the law needs to be corrected immediately. Thank you, and I yield back my time. Thank you, caller. Our next caller on the Zoom is caller Audit LA. You'll have two minutes for your general public comment. Good morning, uh, board, commissioners. Uh, you get a break for me today, in a way, but I'm still here. I, too, want to bring up what happened the other day with item number six. Um, that gentleman came up to me and was uh, a bit upset because he's like, what, like, Scientology's able to have you know, he didn't say, I'll put the number in, 250 
non-ADA compliant uh, planters and they don't get fined, that nothing, they're not, nothing happens to them. He goes, I have planters down because we're trying to, you know, um, improve things, but they were ADA compliant and we still got fined. We still had to go through all this stuff. The city put us through this process to get permitted and it's been an uphill battle. He goes, like, I'm upset. To, he was upset to hear that Scientology is not held to any of the same standards. And I guarantee you, he's not the only one. I, I bet that there's other places that um, or have to deal with planners and getting their R permits and going through all this and the money of it. They're going to be upset to hear that Scientology, can, they don't have to have R permits. They're able to put down so many planners to the point where it breaks the sidewalk. Literally, it's breaking. It's worse every time I go out there. And uh, the, even if the city tells them they need to move it, the city's not going to do anything about it. They don't really have to move it. It's just a hint, hint, wink, wink. You got to move it. People are complaining. Okay. And it's just so much. It, it's just so beyond the pale at this point. So I'm trying to understand why. You know, like, I, is it that Scientology has, like, infiltrated so much that... Um, can you, uh, do they infiltrate so much that they're at such high levels or that, you know, or that they're so connected, you know, that they get to do what they want? I don't know. It's the weirdest thing to me. But I, and you do have the power to do it because I read your Thank Bible. Thank you, caller. That That's two minutes. You. All right. Our next caller is caller by the name of Minnie Minion. You'll have two minutes for your public comment. Yes, hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, thank you for your time today. I would like to elaborate with you on um, the Church of Scientology. This cult is extremely dangerous, and I hope you can sleep well at night knowing that there are children being sexually, physically, and mentally abused by them, because I know I can't sleep at night knowing this. And, you know, we really don't want to attack you I don't, at, at least I don't personally. I just want to bring awareness to you to the fact of what really does go on inside that place. And to help, you know, all we're asking is for you to help us be these children's voice. These poor children have no voice and they cannot consent to what they are being forced to be consent to. Okay, this is really, it's, it's very scary that this is a worldwide cult that torments people. Not only children, but adults as well. And they abuse their elderly to the point of where it's a sin. It's a downright sin. These are not, this is unacceptable in America today for a child to have to bear witness to what they are doing to these children in this cult. Um, I really hope you can sleep well at night knowing this because, like I said, I cannot. Okay, I really don't know what ball you need to start getting on the roll here but every county every state every country needs to get together and really fight this fight it's ridiculous now okay i wake up at night sweating crying because i can't deal with the fact of what goes on in these buildings they're coming to my county i live on the beautiful island of long island and they're now coming here i don't want them in my backyard i'm glad you like them in yours thank you for your time and have a wonderful day Thank you, caller. Our next caller is Yvonne. If you could go ahead and unmute yourself. You'll have two minutes for your general public comment. Thank you very much. I promised you uh, Wednesday that I would offer you a solution, and I ran out of time. I am speaking specifically about the endless street permits that are uh, issued to Scientology and the permit in 20241660-2024 in particular, which was just last week, um, is symbolic of the permits that they have been issued for six months. When there is an actual event, it appears to be a movie shoot or a commercial for their propaganda that is used for recruitment and to satiate the curiosity of their own membership. Now, they, they get these special event permits 
because they're cheaper than a movie permit. Um, that is one of the reasons why they hurry up any actual public citizen in attendance, particularly during the hours where the lighting is good. Um, the uh, violations of no ADA toilets, uh, the food being served and sold, uh, the, the, the permit being violated, if it was in fact a community event, also is not being checked and double checked. The solution is suspend their opportunity to get any, any special events permit for the next 10 years. That suspension would allow the city to develop means to actually control an organization which by its own doctrine and mandate, the laws do not apply to them. Thank you, Caller. You are That's not two facilitated. Our next caller is Amy. If you could go ahead and unmute yourself, you'll have two minutes. Hi. I'm playing the Twilight Zone because that's what I feel like when I'm looking at how you're behaving in your city of LA. Rules for the Scientology and rules for the other people. So the other thing is that um, when are we going to get an equal society of people that is normal for the rest of the country because you're being looked at by giving preferential treatment of allowing these planters that are starting to buckle, by the way. The bands around them on L. Ron Hubbard Way and the other streets like Fountain Avenue are starting to buckle. The 250, 200 plus, I think it was 234, 250, are starting to buckle. And again, the world is watching. You look like a joke. You're in a silly bubble of Scientology. People don't accept it. You got to wake up, maybe get on the internet. It's all there on the interwebs. You all can do some research. It's right there in front of your face. It's all over YouTube, Twitter, all the social media. Your kids would tell, laugh at you that you're allowing Scientology to do what they want. Um, it's a, you're going to be judged. You're on the wrong side of history. It's a joke. You're walking pariahs. You're ab absolutely in that twilight zone. I could see you in an episode back in the 50s um, just going along with their silliness and their manipulation because that's what I feel like when I'm watching this crap that you're allowing to happen because you are all in that twilight zone bubble. You might as well be on that train on the twilight zone that keeps rolling around into, the, into twilight zone Scientology City, a.k.a. the Truman Show that you all are in right now. you got to wake up and be on the right side of history and have the proper legacy for your children because that's going to be embarrassment city when they see what happens when they finally get those kids rescued out of those buildings that they're being abused in that I yield back my time thank you that's two minutes next caller is caller Kelly if you could go ahead and unmute yourself you'll have two minutes for your general public comment good morning thanks for uh, allowing us public comment via the zoom um, I wanted to say that yesterday I stumbled upon a video of a woman at a Los Angeles City Council meeting from 16 years ago who was speaking about um, living on Ron Hubbard Lane, I call it Ron Hubby Lane, uh, for two years dealing with week every weekend for two years. She and her neighbors had to put up with events happening and I will say it was much more severe 16 years ago and uh, 18 in total from what I can gather um, but same practices and tactics same fake plants being put up and barriers and things like this to keep the public from using the road with their cars but at the time they were also blocking the neighbors um, and I, I wanted to just say that it was very uh, informative for me to see that this has been something that I knew was going on for a long time, but seeing it there and hearing her complain about these same issues that people are complaining about today was uh, pretty eye-opening. Um, uh, but I do want to say that in recent videos and things, we've been able to see Ron Hubby Lane open and clear uh, on at times where they don't have a permit. And if anybody sitting here today 
had anything to do with that, I want to thank you. It's been beautiful, and I do know for certain that the neighbors on that road as well as around are very grateful. Um, however, the 200... <coughs> And 51 planters that remain um, in the somewhat Fort Knox situation there are uh, well out of control and obviously in, a, in an attempt to keep people off the easement and um, protesting, speaking out against Scientology. Um, I know that there is an ordinance or there was a letter for them to remove them. That has not been done yet. If Thank any you, of caller, you know anybody, you have contact. Our next caller is caller TT. If you can go ahead and unmute yourself. You'll have two minutes for your general public comment. Yeah, I want to end on a positive note. I want to recognize a specific individual named Jennifer Krauskopf. She's the one responsible for filling out all the permits with Street LA to close the street. When caught on camera, presenting fraudulent, made-up permits to the police to enforce. And that was given to the Streets LA Bureau. What happened? Public access for free was taken down at the portal. How deep does it go? What side of the jail cell bars do you want to be on? Okay, and let's see. We have uh, W... M F. Oh, say, ladies and gentlemen, we got another. We have another criminal program here under Jacob's project. Not that Peter Thomas and James Clark have anything to do with this, but we still have the best value according to what this report states by design and build of the contractor for 8 million gallons of water. Now, that's not going to equalize the troubles already happening in the world. Our water is becoming poisoned by chemicals that Exide, for example, threw into the LA River just less than six miles from where I'm standing. <laughs> and that dumb bitch, Hilda Solis, the County Board of Supervisors, and all these white motherfuckers who got involved in this criminal enterprise shit, has allowed our water to become contaminated. Not that anyone cares, because if no water, we all die. You can have as much gold in your wallets. You can have as much diamonds, Mr. Vahid. But we will all die, according to God's word, the Bible. Because we're all nothing but ruthless scum. Advancing water equalization for eight million fucking dollars. We should have had wells built to save water. We should have had wells built near parks to prevent overwatering and waste of runoff water. But now, now, another fucked up plan by the mayor and another fucked up plan by this department. You all suck a dick. We have presenting. Oh, I see you have some as well. Not a problem. Yes. Just For a caller, Auto LA, you'll have two minutes to speak on item number one. Thank you. Um, your water is very important. Um, living here in Los Angeles, I'll be honest, I'm terrified of our water. I won't even take a sip of tap water to take a vitamin. Um, that's how scared of it I am. And there's just nothing about, you know, coming here, I'm coming here to public works. And there's nothing about me coming here that gives me any sense of, you know, I can trust what's going on with this process because they have my best interest at heart. They have, because I don't feel that way. Um, I've been here since June saying things that are, you know, for my best interest or not just my best interest, everyone's best interest, you know, to have an ADA compatible world. 
But um, so my confidence is lacking. We need reclamation. I'm hoping that this is something that's going to further clean our water. And, you know, but I know like the collection of water, collection of water is very important. And I agree with the previous caller. Why haven't they d built wells? Why haven't they done a better job of doing more natural reclamation, you know, instead of all the runoff? Our water just runs off um, out into the ocean. And so all the rainwater, it, it just, it, it, it goes away. And so, I, you know, I, I don't know why it's going this way instead of, you know, more natural ways, but... Um, I really hope you guys do have our best interest. I really do hope that this is somebody that's, you know, that is a company that is legitimately the best choice. Because I see a lot of favoritism here in this city. I see certain place, people, places like Scientology and others who get special treatment and get, you know, you, you look away at whether or not they're abiding by the rules. Are you guys going to look the other way for this company? Like, are they, um, do they have that inside? Two um, minutes. Thank you, caller. Thank you. Next caller on item number one is Yvonne. You'll have two minutes for item number one. Thank you. Um, my concern, I, I surprisingly want to support this pro 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 progress in uh, <clears throat> building these types of uh uh, collection basins and, and re restoring the water table. Um, however, I would like the contract to add a line item for public education. Uh, specifically, if you build a Ferrari for somebody, but they really need a four-wheel ATV to take the kids to camping, yet you have built the wrong thing. Um, public education is needed in the water cycle because the water going into the filtration systems, um, if it's containing herbicides and pesticides and caffeine and other other chemicals that don't that have a long half life, it, it's poison on top of poison, and and trying to uh, filter out or remove those poisons once they enter into the groundwater or the, the ground table um, is nearly impossible. It, it's counterproductive. So when we, we, we need to educate the population as we implement these infrastructure improvements. Thank you. Thank you, caller. And I believe we have a public comment card in person. Okay, we do if have a public comment that, card, we'll uh, WMF. WMF on item two, public comment. Air quality with sewer operations doesn't jive me very well. Come on, $80,000 for the encumbrance of funds for permit fees. That sounds likely expensive. And the expenses for clean water and generators shouldn't come at a cost that is likely only $80,000. We should be buying million dollar products from well-built American built in the USA shit. None of this imported shit from China, or this imported shit from the Middle Eastern or this shit that comes from shit land where you take advantage of children for cheap labor. Am I not right? We got diddly fucking young kids, especially white males, Mr. Grant. We got fucking Combs denying he ever fucked a young child. But yet here in the city of Los Angeles, as the executive board of Board of Public Works Oversight, I see something fucking sewer wrong with this maintenance fund. It should be more than eighty thousand dollars so who are we fucking kidding here who the fuck are we kidding here when it comes to clean air clean sewers clean environment why why is there only one water like myself here today to speak about this funding of eighty thousand fucking dollars of authority expenditures 
for the fucking related expenses for clean water. Thank you. That's two minutes. We'll go on to our yeah. next caller on the Zoom. Yeah. We have caller audit LA. You'll have two minutes on item number two. Um, I do want to start by thanking Commissioner Reyes for um, reminding the, you know, your people who come before you to reach out to the public for their input and also to try to um, minimize costs. Uh, you're sounding like a commissioner when you do that, and I appreciate it. Um, as far as this is concerned, I, it is a little bit confusing. I agree, because I was like, air quality and then sewer. It just seems like, um, you know, it, it does seem strange. But I do see here that you're trying, you know, that you're talking about permits and paying for permits. And I'm glad that you're, you know, interested in permits in this case. I wish you were interested in permits in every case. And also maybe to help pay for this $80,000, you could fine the Church of Scientology for their massive amount of planters that they have there that are not permitted. Can you imagine if you start fining, you know, different entities that are abusing the system, abusing the permit system, and you get that money in, we could go, you know, we would have another fund on the side to help pay for these things that we want to do. Because sewer, it's important. I know whenever it rains, I can't go out because I'll get stuck because of the sewer backup. Um, during a rain. It, it, it's horrendous. It needs to be fixed. It needs to be dealt with. I'm glad you're dealing with these things. But, you know, but you're holding yourself accountable to having permits. I'm asking that you please um, hold other entities accountable when you know, when you absolutely know for a fact that they are doing something that needs a permit, but they're not permitted. So let's get on the ball and let's just get it, you know, across the board. Everybody straightened out. Everybody doing the right thing. Thank you, caller. Uh, everybody accountable. Our next caller on item number two is Yvonne. You'll have two minutes for your general public comment, or for your comment on item two. Thank you. Um, I'd like the commission and the uh, all the departments related to consider that the sewer plants and the water treatment facilities or water water pumping facilities. Uh, need to implement the use of photovoltaic power for their daytime energy. I understand that the uh, generators, are, that both of these services use a lot of electrical power. And in this case, uh, the generators are probably using methane that is gathered on site, and that creates pollution, which is controlled by the AQMD. And... Uh, Pay the fees, of course, but look forward in how to better utilize the environment uh, and reduce the uh, uh, pollution that these uh, fixed uh, locations create. Uh, it will save the rate payers, and of course, it will be beneficial to the environment. Thank you. Let me have uh, the public comment from WMF, item number three. White motherfucker. And a white motherfucker is here to work on the energy under USA, Inc. Charles. And Charles knows as much as I know that $95,000 ain't shit nowadays for running a fucking city like Los Angeles for as many fucking people that are so fucking stupid. Because we just keep paying taxes. But don't forget, we're all going to vote for uh, my councilman because it says CDL. Don't forget, Kevin DeLeon, that's who we're voting for. Got more balls than most council members or commissioners to speak up on criminal enterprises and not little changos. Right, Mr. Davis? So the mitigation data from Enterprise Maintenance Planning Control is... To satisfy the ellipse and new interface with filled automation sanitation. Now that's an excellent idea. However, no one gives a fuck about where the sewer construction shit and the fucking maintenance funds goes. Except we need to increase the $95,000 with some, you know, a little bit of 
tweaking for percentage in here because we have to have some type of, you know, incumbents fees for some type of strategy to come up with the uh, energy for USA, right? Don't we have some type of expenditure funds in the back of the, of the office here where we can provide such a funding? But it doesn't matter. Sanitation trucks for service and rendered for November 1st. Fuck yeah. Great. Our next caller is Audit LA. You'll have two minutes to speak on item number three. Yes, this one's a little confusing too because it's like sewer, but then it's like trash trucks. Um, you know, transferring data, you know, it, it's, a, it, it's a lot to digest. Um, I, I just want to kind of equate this to, like, I hope it's open and for the public to purview, you know, to review, purview, because lately I've noticed that they're getting more secretive. Um, you know, it's hard to get CPRAs at times. Uh, it's also hard to get, I mean, portals are now being um, less information. The public is interested. The public's getting more interested in everything. Like, the fact that I'm sitting here and listening about sewer systems and what you're doing and all this thing is because, like, it, it starts off with maybe, hmm, what, why are you failing the city on this thing? You know, so let's look at everything else. So p the people are getting more where they want to scrutinize everything. But it seems like the more people want to look into things and ask questions, the more the city wants to set the the window, you know, for what you can see. It should everything should be open. A absolutely everything. You guys are in public service. You serve the public. Technically, the public is the boss. Um, you are you're there to represent our interest because I admit with all this stuff, you're way smarter than I am. I don't have um, the brain. You know, I I'm not built to understand all of this. But I do have enough of an inquisitive mind to want to make sure that you are on point, that you are being honest, that you are doing the right things for our city. And um, that's why, you know, we're here looking and more people are going to start looking. I mean, you're getting people around the world watching these meetings. Have, did you ever think that you would have thousands, literally thousands of people around the world checking in on these meetings? I, I wouldn't have expected that. But it starts off with, okay, we see that you're not, you're failing in this area miserably. Two minutes, thank you. Can we Next caller, Yvonne, you'll have two minutes on item number three. Thank you. Um, I'd like to emphasize that the failure of enforcement of permits in other areas does build a suspicion on all areas. Um, that being said, the data collected in this uh, uh, proposal is important. Uh, what I find lacking is a concern for uh, safety. And uh, when we push employees to data, 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 uh, hurry up with the data, do it by the data, um, we don't account for real life on the ground. Uh, in particular, the example of the trash truck that gets stuck in traffic and the driver has nothing that they can do about it, but be patient. Um, so please be mindful of inclusion of safety factors for the employees and the citizens on the streets. Thank you. Thank you. That's the end of our public comment for item number three. We WMF on this item. Okay, and these are on that as well. Okay. Yeah, we have these problems with our sidewalk and streets in addition to uh, potholes and um, slurry ceiling that is not getting done within a timely manner. And where's all the money going? Does fucking money come off a of money tree? Because there seems to be a problem of why the mayor and a bunch of dickheads can't get together to repair, fix, alter, and renew what us asshole taxpayers for, which is infrastructure. That should be every year in a timely manner 
and without a motherfucking excuse, right? Did you hear the report in the LA Times about the mayor? Uh, I, I'm sorry to address this issue, but uh, we're working on it. No, bitch. Work harder. Grease the palms from that fucking money tree and stop sliding the dollars into your pocket. Where's the black mayor? Never in the history have I heard some bullshit like that. The same bullshit you hear from Kamala Cunt Harris, who talks about making America great. More fucking jobs. Well, we don't have jobs here in L.A. because we don't got money to buy equipment to fix the problems. That's why we're looking like a third world country. Why don't you take, for example, and this is a great example. Grand Central Market, Miss Mayor, if you're listening, and to all your fucking stupid staff, and to the Department of Public Works stupid fucking staff and maintenance and repairs. Grand Central Market, every motherfucking day of the week has people from other countries coming in, and guess what? You can't fix not one fucking sidewalk and repair the That's pedestrian Thank you. That's sidewalk. Two minutes. Please move on listen. To the Zoom caller, Audit LA, you'll have two minutes for your public comment. Next, we have Greenspan. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Greenspan. Hello? Greenspan. Okay, sorry. Can we have those from the phone? Yes, no problem. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to overspeak you, uh, Commissioner Davis. I got confused. Um, okay, I'm here because. Bureau Street Services, to me, is the most disappointing uh, bureau that we have in our city. And I am not just talking about the Scientology aspects of everything I've been coming here and complaining about or begging you for help with for the past since June. It's just as a person in a chair, this city is the most difficult city to navigate. It's unbearable at times, whether it's the broken streets, the broken sidewalks. The um, lime scooters in the way, um, you know, signs from restaurants and, you know, outdoor dining, whatever. It is an, an immensely difficult city to traverse. And I agree with the previous um, speaker who's saying, why aren't we putting the money to fixing it? Why? It, you know, it's not even just because it's for the ADA. I, I get it. The city does not care about the ADA. It, it doesn't. It's very very clear to me that they don't care and it's whatever but just for everything like it why are we not putting an emphasis on our streets and sidewalks to be safe how many lawsuits like every time almost it seems like you go to the uh, city council there's a, a lawsuit for somebody injured or uh, you know falling on the sidewalks or something you know why are we not putting money towards it. You guys got sued, the city got sued, a massive amount of lawsuits to make uh, the city compliant with, ADA compliant with its uh, streets and sidewalks. I don't see much advancement in that. Where is that money? Just like we asked, where's the housing money that the city gets? Where's the money for infrastructure for this? It's, we should be, um, 17 years I've been bugging about this stuff, not here, you know, but just wondering why we can't seem to progress. And where, why, you know, and it's just, you know, I'm frustrated with street services. Two minutes. But Thank that, you. Our next caller for public comment on item number four is Yvonne. You'll have two minutes for your general public com or for your comment on item four. Thank you. Uh, I would just like the speaker to define for me. What is a major street update? How is that defined and considered con compared to a minor one? You know, what, what is the scale here? Thank you. Thank you. That's the end of our comments for item four. We have a public comment from WMF. WMF, public comment on item number five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already started the clock, but, you know, regarding La Gloria and this fucking Rotundra shit, we're wasting so much fucking money in a hood, like in Boyle Heights. It's a hood now. You got homelessness. You got encampments. You got RVs and cars parked on every fucking street. If you're a homeowner, you can't even park in front of your motherfucking house. So 
by doing this, you're only creating more congestion. Save the fucking money, save the fucking planet, and provide us with tundras in new cities. New areas yeah. where white motherfuckers like they've yeah. done in the West Side now, okay. by UCLA, you heard about that, all right? What did um, oh, oh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Judge uh, Walter say about you? Stop using federal and state money and fucking veterans at UCLA and Brentwood. We don't need baseball fields for white privileged motherfuckers. We need housing. We need parking. We need infrastructure. Not like this La Gloria bullshit. Just fucking give them a billion dollars and have them move. That's it. Then you decide what you want to do with your tortillas, your flautas, your dozens and whatever. Because, you know, back in the day when I used to walk from school through there and go to Belvedere Junior High and walk all the way home to the, the hood off of formerly Brooklyn Evergreen, because that's where I grew up formerly Brooklyn Evergreen, and now you named it after that fuck Cesar Chavez and his Chango clan. And what did Nuri Martinez says? Pega el pinche Chango que se calle cabrones. That's two minutes, thank you. Next, Greenspan, item number five. Which item Mr. Greenspan, item number five. Uh, do I get my full time? Thank no, we've you. called your name. Uh, well, I get. Don't I get my time? Mr. Greenspan, you are to speak on item number five. Yeah, Gloria. well, it took my time away. I'm sorry. I wanted to start it from the beginning. That's all. From, I would ask for for you to start at this time. Well, it's it's been running the whole time. That's well, you know, we're talking about stuff over there in an underserved neighborhood. You had that, that turnaround thing. That doesn't work. You've had a couple of them. You know, as far as I'm concerned, your ideas suck a dick like this. That's what I think of your ideas and my time being deprived. I should be able to speak for the full time. All I needed was some clarification, but no, you have to be a real dick about it, Davis. You really do. All I wanted was my full time and you don't seem to want to give that to me. So this is how I protest your attitude. Because you, you think that you can just, oh, well, let's just have, throw the project to Bureau of Engineering and they'll just take care of it, yeah, with all our money. And when we come out, we'll have nothing but an empty, some capital improvement, if you want to call it that, or it's kind of a monument, just like that little turnaround failure. You've got failure after failure in that district, and no wonder it's a shithole area over there. Boyle Heights. Obviously, you see, good old, what's his name, Bugsy uh, Siegel, not Bugsy Siegel, um, Mickey Cohen moved from that area. It wasn't a shithole area. It's always, you, they made it, made it that way. It sucks a dick. Uh, Mrs. Zorzarki, do we have any additional items on the phone? Yes, we do. Okay. We'll take our two public take commenters this time. on the phone. Caller, Audit LA, you'll have two minutes. Thank you. Um, I, I just don't know if you're aware of this. Um, when the, you have the sidebar conversation, that the mic is picking it up. Um, I, I, I don't know if you might want to cover the mic if you need to have a sidebar conversation. But that being said, um, I'm just going to go by the word in mm -hmm. here where it says relocation. Um, it's good to know that the city can relocate things that are not wanted to be in one place, but wanted in another place. Um, so I'm going to ask you to put that same equal opportunity to these non-ADA planters at Scientology. Keep some of them. We like flowers. We like the butterflies, you know, um, and all that stuff. We don't, we don't need to have them all to go. We just need enough to go so that it's ADA compliant and not putting too much pressure on our sidewalks and streets. So let's do equal application, you know, let's relocate, you know, the Bureau of Engineering. I have more confidence in them. Every time the Bureau of Engineering comes in, they come across as very highly capable and professional people. Um, so let's put them to this task of equal application of relocating things that are unwanted and unneeded 
in our community. That being said, thank you, and I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend, and hope to see you next week. Thank you, Colin. I yield back my time. Our next public comment on item number five is caller Yvonne. You'll have two minutes for item five. Thank you very much. Uh, I want you to expedite this relocation effort. Uh, the business has been closed. It needs to be restarted. It represents some employment and also it, it represents uh, a welcome home kind of feeling when, you know, you miss your tacos and your burritos. You got to have them. So please expedite this effort. Thank you. Thank you. President Pro Tem, that's the end of our public comments for item number five.